Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And uh, if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much uh, just for taking the time out to know yourself for who you truly are, being able to dive deep and um, know yourself for all aspects and you know, I'm just embracing your gifts. And for the depths, uh, for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit my no the notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love for you to drop a line, get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or your empathic gift that has been placed upon your life um, and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if the video is very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so, you know, if they're going, especially if they're going through some really trying times and need validation or confirmation. Um as well and just as well give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit sorry that that meditation is really throwing me off because it's sending me all kind of different vibes right now um so with that being said thank you for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and um the video i'm listening to today is called superpowers miracle music psychokinesis transmutation changing matter moving objects 432 hertz and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka's cut cords keep it moving no matter what you have to you know um it's just what us empaths we have a bad habit of trying to save the, the underdog trying to save just anybody who has a dark troubled past and you know that's our weakest link when we do that because we try to see the good in everybody even though everybody has good in them it just you know it just depends on if they choose to show it or not and some people you know they'll throw up a facade like you know they're for you and then you start seeing the real them it's like coming out like you're peeling an onion it's just more layers start falling off you know I've had lately I've been having to cut a lot of people out of my life you know don't even give them a reason just cut them out especially if I'm seeing a pattern you know like if you're trying to control me control how I think tell me what I need to let go of and set free is a difference when you're you're trying to you know help somebody in a positive sense and try to have them look at certain things but when people are trying to control my way of thinking that's a good way to piss me off or if I'm there for you and then when I need to talk and then you're just like, you have no feeling. You're like, oh, okay, well, you know, that's what it is and this is what it is. But then when I'm there with you, I'm very attentive and, you know, try to give you, you know, encouraging, you know, encouraging, uh, you know, feedback or whatever. But it's just like I had to think about what's healthy for me, what's healthy for my vibe, vibration, my personal space, my aura, you know, and it's just like, you know a lot of people just like being around a lot of people just so don't have to feel alone but I mean it's just like it's like having one fake friend is like having a thousand enemies because that fake friend is in your life you know they just because they hug you don't mean they won't stab you in the back as quick as they're they, they are to hug you you know and it's just like been on this journey it's been really hard for me to trust a lot of people because it's like I, I've met a lot of people and I've had good experiences from others but then I also have had a lot of bad ones as well. You know, people are trying to get into my thoughts or, you know, if they're able to tap into me uh, on that spiritual realm, you know, they would do that to try to get vibes off of me so they can read me. And I just had to cut them out of my life. You know, I had people coming on here telling me how they read my cards and you know telling me all these you, you, i mean you putting out certain things like i stopped reading cards because i felt like if it's meant for me to know it'll come up i'm not gonna read my cards because i don't even watch any uh tarot reading cards on youtube anymore i just stopped doing that because even when they resonated 
it would be, you know, if it was meant for me to do it, it would be drawing me towards that. But if it's just telling me just to stop watching it and stop reading my own cards, I do that. But it kind of made me mad when people <clears throat> were doing it and then tell me what you've seen. That's just, I said, that's like invasion of privacy because I didn't ask you to read me. I don't like people reading me. Especially, I don't need to let the left hand know what the right hand is doing, so stop doing that. You know, and I didn't mean any harm to, towards them, and they might not have meant harm, but it's just the fact that you need to ask permission before you start reading people. You can't do that. You know, I always ask people, is it okay? If they say no, I'm going to respect that. You know, but, um, but it's just the fact is you have to understand that validation from other people is not important. What they think of you is what they think of you, regardless. Because what you can explain, something they're only going to understand the level of their, you know, interpretation of you. You know, your level, their level of that. You know, I've had people who will tell me, oh, you need to do this, this, and this, and that, or you should just cut that off. You know, like it was so simple to do. And then you, you know, that's why I try not to judge too many people, because especially, you know, it's just like us as humans, we we tend to judge anyway. But I try not to judge, especially on grief, sadness, and trauma, you know, to somebody. Because if you start judging folks like that, it'll be so quick when God will put you in that same kind of predicament that other person is. And then you'll see what the heck they're feeling about. And people didn't realize that about me. You know, I've had people, you know, down talk me, call me bastard and all this stuff. And, you know, saying I didn't know who my daddy was and even when I did know who my daddy was. I knew that whole time I just you know had to be disconnected from that situation for some odd reason but you know it was crazy you know people that did that to me and next thing you know I end up hearing through the grapevine oh you know you know such and such father dad died I'm like mm. well I was sending prayers out to that family you know didn't care nothing about the other person you know I said you know it's just like I I hope they're okay and hope they heal now they're gonna see what I was going through but um you know, I said I don't wish anything on people like that. You know, I just feel like, you know, whatever's going to go on for you is going to go on for you. Especially if, you know, you've been right towards people. And they, you know, it's just like us as hell because we start exposing people's insecurities. You know, things are, you know, set in our lap. And you start seeing things about people, you try to give them chances after chances. You can't keep doing that. And it's just like me, it's like I, I tried, but it got to that point where if I start seeing red flags and I've already seen red flags about people and I just blew it off, like, you know, maybe they were in a bad mood today or, you know, maybe they had a lot on their mind, but it just seemed like anytime I would talk to them, it would be <laughs> the same thing all the time. And it's just like, you know, I just cut them out of my life, didn't tell them, hey, this is the reason why I'm cutting you out or, oh, I'm going to stop talking. I didn't even tell them, I just block. <laughs> you'll figure out why I did that in a minute but it's just like when you go through different things like this you have to know what's important for your mindset especially if it you know when you when you have been through so much quality is better than quantity to me I really feel that way because when you go through things you know you, you got to be careful who you let in your life because some people are just not caring to listen but they're just caring to sort of have that a dog go carry a bone somewhere they're not worried about the things that you're going through. You know, a lot of people just enter my life just for them to figure out, you know, what was all behind the scenes when it came to me and my situation. So, and then they used it against me. So it's just like right now I'm blessed for me going through those things because it has made me stronger. Because I know before, if I went through that, um... I would be stuck on that for a while and be mad like how did they do that I mean I've had people come in my life and when they found out who my dad was try to get all what was going on like what creator had for me what what was that and just directly preyed upon making sure those things that never happened I used to get mad at the universe like if you already know this is going to stop my process or slow down my you know whatever is for you it might slow it down but it will never stop but I used to get pissed off about stuff like that I said how am I being nice for these folks and they end up praying against the things that are heading my way. You know, people that did that. And I've seen what they did. And they, they, they wanted to still stay in my life. And I was, like, ready to fight. Like, how could you do that to me? Especially when I've done all these good things for you. So it's just like now I, I mentally put blocks up for myself so people can't read me. You know, trying to find out what my next step. So I don't like it when people try to figure me out like that. I said, don't try to do that to me. You know, that's invasion of privacy. But it's just like when you when you're on a blessing and you're on a mission, 
you don't have time to be playing buddy buddy with people or tend to break your heart and jab you in a minute you know you can turn your back and stab you right in your back you know as soon as you blink an eye so it's just like you have to stay woke you have to be able to do what you need to do you know you shouldn't feel bad for cutting people out your life especially if they're not supposed to be there you know when you're being an empath or or uh or just even a hail because we have a tendency to, to gravitate or you know gra we have gravitation to have people that are narcissistic sociopaths psychopaths a lot of insecure people will pop up in your life and trying to mess your whole life up and you we have to learn you know when when it's time to part ways because you when you know you're heading towards blessings things will pop into your life you know you will be tested constantly when things happen the way they happen just to see if you're gonna go about it the old way or you're gonna pay attention and when when universe tell you to be quiet be quiet when the universe tell you to sit down and just pay attention you need to do that so it's just like when you're on your mission pay attention to the signs that they're telling you take heed in your gut feelings and your vibrations if you know your vibrations seem low and dragging you need to let it go if you feel like you have to walk on eggshells around people you need to let it go even if it has to do with family you know that hurts like hell you have to let family go but if it's meant to them to be in your life they have to be able to see the things that they took for granted that you know that was precious in their life you have to be able to step back and detach yourself for things like this to happen and just let the universe do its work for you so i hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video much love to you i hope you had a blessed safe weekend and you enjoyed it get ready started on this next new week time is moving fast so like and subscribe give me you know a feedback on the situation you might be going through i would love to hear your opinion um, I'm giving a post notification shot out to, um, let me see, let me see, Jay Cartwright and Treasured Seasons. Much, much love to you. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And on, there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know when somebody needs a kind word. It goes a very long way. So much love. Peace. Be wild. Well.